Now, with five months to December 7 general elections, political parties contesting the elections are yet to release their manifestos on specific policy initiatives to be implemented when they come into office. There is more in the following reports. In Ghana, political parties' manifestos may not entirely translate into actions when the respective party wins an election. Manifestos are mainly promises and slogans rather than specific policy initiatives to be implemented. Particularly in some cases, politicians employ every means to win power and act differently afterwards. With five months to the December 7 elections, the Manifesto Committee of the New Patriotic Party, led by Dr. Mahamud Dubaumia, the presidential candidate, is diligently working towards shaping policies for various sectors. The party has emphasized the importance of the committee members' specific skills and expertise in developing policies that address the needs of the nation. They gave June as the date for the unveiling, but mid-July, the MPP's 2024 manifesto is yet to be unveiled. The committee members have been tasked with conducting a thorough review of the MPP's previous manifestos from the 2016 and 2020 elections to develop a forward-thinking and comprehensive manifesto for 2024. Flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress NDC, John Mahama, during his Building Ghana tour in Accra, revealed plans to unveil the party's manifesto for the upcoming 2024 general elections by mid-year. He expressed optimism about the manifesto's potential to drive socio-economic development. He says the manifesto launch will feature key policies, including the introduction of a 24-hour economy, the abolishment of ex gratia and the export of nurses to address unemployment among health workers. Already, the Movement for Change, founded by former Trade and Industry Minister Alan Tramantin, is the only candidate who has launched his manifesto dubbed the Great Transformational Plan. Meanwhile, some CSOs have called out the political parties to consult them in drafting their manifestos, else it will be defective. And joining us for a conversation is Elikem Kotoko. He is Deputy National Organizer for the NDC. Elikem, good afternoon to you. Uh, kindly unmute, please. Yes, good afternoon, Annie. Can you hear me? Uh, no, I, 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 you're still not uh, audible. Can you hear me now? Is it okay? All right, still poor. Um, okay, let the police uh, work around. Let's see. Uh, if uh, they can work okay. on Elikim for him Enough. to come back and, and speak to us about that. So we're expecting as a media organization, political parties who have released their statements of uh, promises already, which we uh, term manifestos. Of course, it will be uh, uh, assessed, it will be reviewed, and then we will see how best we can also help the citizenry uh, take a cue yeah. from that to inform their decision on who to vote for. Uh, so Elikem Kotoko is the organizer for the party. Elikem, uh, can you hear me now? Or let me see if you are audible I can, I can still hear you. Can, you. can you hear me now? All right. I, still, still not on. So, um, I, I have unmuted, and every indication here is that uh, I am okay to go. So uh, I'm surprised if you cannot hear me. Okay, Elikem. So let me just find out from you. Um, <laughs> What exactly, how long do you want um, media to review your manifestos before <laughs> elections? Thank you so much, Annie, and good afternoon to your church viewers. Um, indeed, uh, I share in your concern, <clears throat> just as the NDC does. Uh, suffice it, however, to state that um, the manifesto alone, on its own, uh, will not be the very basis for which you in the media and many other stakeholders will play a role in the pending elections. Uh, a lot of what is happening in Ghana currently, for instance, um, our people need to know that petrol price will be increased tomorrow uh, as we speak. As we speak, uh, our, 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 our government is investing in a whole, they have spent $58 million on, whilst the Presbyterian Church is building a cancer center. And so when you want to concentrate on the manifesto, it is just a microcosm of the entire system. It is part of a whole system. The average Ghanaian who is watching you and myself knows the, relevant of the, man, the relevance of the manifesto, but equally appreciates the fact that there's a regime in place that has established corruption as an institute. 
that they will need to look at. But then, as a party, we, just as you said, the flag bearer made it known that middle of this year, uh, there will be the introduction of the manifesto. So it will not take long. The NDC's manifesto will be out for many to have access to. And you in the media will also be able to have access to that as well. Mm. Right. So uh, we should be expecting maybe less than a month, no? It, probably. Probably. It, it could be less than... It, it, it will, I'm sure it will be less than a month and not so far from today as we speak. And we will definitely announce this and make it known to you all so that you will come and see the very... Uh, um, uh, workable solutions that an experienced leader like His Excellency John Dramani Mahama is bringing on board, not to experiment with the people of Ghana, not to experiment with the economy, and not to visit untold hardships onto us the way it is currently. Right, Elikem, thank you so much for that update. And, uh...